Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, we're going to be installing a catalytic converter shield from Miller Cat for the Toyota Tacoma. Now, you might be wondering why is this important? Well, there's two reasons actually. One, to protect the catalytic converters under there if you're a big time off roader, and two, most important to me is theft protection. Did you know it's about 1250 bucks to have your catalytic converters replaced? And that's assuming there isn't more extensive work required depending upon what the thief did under there. Now, as I mentioned, this comes from Miller Cat. It's pretty simple to put together, little assembly before you get under the truck, and then putting it up under is very simple as well. Quick history, this part was recently given a Toyota part number and it's an official Toyota accessory. You can order below, there's a link, you'll get 5% off. Check that out. They're made in California, right here in the USA. Now, let's go ahead, we're gonna pull this thing out of the box, put it together, and then we're gonna put it on my Toyota Tacoma so that I'm protected. Okay, let's see what we've got here. I like the packaging and it did come undamaged. First off, we've got directions here, a couple of parts, some hardware. Let's take a look real quick. There's a front piece. This is going to go on underneath the truck, of course. And then we have the hardware. One thing I like to see when I look at the hardware is that it's not a giant bag full of hardware, because that means there's a lot of work. Not too bad. And then the instructions as well. Now, let's uh, take a look at the meat and potatoes here. The Okay, got a little shield part here, does have the Miller Cat logo on it, cool. We have another part of the shield, we'll see what all these do here in just a minute. And then, we have the shield itself, Let's see if I can get this puppy out of here. Okay, there's the shield itself. First glance, looks pretty uh, quality to me. I don't see any bends or issues, anything like that. It is stainless steel, so it shouldn't rust under there. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing put together. First of all, I wanted to mention they do have tamper-proof screws, obviously, so no one can crawl into there and just take these off. They provide the star bits for these, which I'm, I'll call them anyway, and then all the hardware that you need. So we're going to go ahead and put the sides on, going a little bit out of order because I want to make sure I get everything put together before I get under the truck. Now, the one thing I like about this, these are threaded rib nuts, so all you have to do is hold the uh, edges on there and put them in. We're going to use a lock washer, a fender or flat washer, and then the screw itself. Again, there's very little hardware with this, so kind of hard to screw that up. Go ahead, lift it up. Helps definitely to have uh, a couple of people to do this, just so you have another hand to hold things, but it's not absolutely necessary. Again, this is not difficult to do. I would leave everything loose until you have it installed underneath the truck, in case you need to make any uh, little adjustments. So far, everything is lining up so well, I kind of doubt that's going to be an issue. Seems like a pretty quality part to me. Okay, that's it. There is the assembly required, not too bad. Uh, now it's time to pull the truck in, get it up on the lift, and put this on. Okay, next up is to go ahead and remove the cross members. There's one on each side, four bolts per cross member here, 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 and here. And we're gonna replace uh, a couple of those bolts on each side with the security bolts. Those are the ones that have the special security key, if you will. Kind of looks like this, has a hole in the end. You wanna make sure you hold on to these, by the way, in case you ever need to take this off for some reason. But there's gonna be two on each side, front, back, front, back, uh, just to, again, keep anybody from removing the cover itself and then of course the front long bolts have the littler or smaller security bolt as well actually yeah it's a little bit smaller so we're going to go ahead and remove the cross members cross bars if you will and then i'm going to secure it under here with probably bungee cords it would be easier i think or maybe i'll just try to muscle it up there i don't know 
but it would be easier to do, obviously, if you had another set of hands. And these take a 12 millimeter socket. Okay, I'm using an oil change pan to hold it up. Didn't need the bungees, so that's coming in handy. Next up, we're gonna reattach the support bar here, the crossbar, into these holes right across here to hold it up. And then, and this is going to be tricky because I do have a skid plate on mine. If you didn't have the skid plate, you'd have full access right to where those other screws go through. But I have the TRD skid plate on mine. It's not that it can't be done. You can reach it in through the side here, right up to where these four bolts go there. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the cross members on to support it, even though I don't really need to now, but that's what the directions say to do. So we're going to do that next. the bolts in the front. I'm gonna have to finagle those a little, I'm sure, but uh, I am confident that they're gonna go in easy. Okay, got them in. The key here is to find a chair, sit down, make yourself comfortable, and just put them in. Again, this would be much easier if I did not have the skid plate, eh, but it wasn't that bad. It took about five minutes, probably, to get it in there, but now we just have to tighten it down. That's really it. Need to get my uh, oil pan out of the way and then go back over all the screws because I left them all loose just for fitment. And I have to say, fitment was perfect. Um, I could have tightened the screws down. Everything fit well. So I'm going to do that, touch them all up, and then we'll take a final look at it. Got it all done. You know, and the other thing I like about this, I can see it over here on the side. Just adds a little bling to the Toyota Tacoma. Kind of cool. Uh, let's check it out from underneath here. That's what it looks like. Got to remember to take my flashlight out of there. I would have left that. Uh, but that's what it looks like under here. You can see you get protection uh, on the sides, also underneath, which I really like. Of course, it has their name right there. And don't forget, if you're looking for one of these, and I don't know why you wouldn't, uh, you can click the link down below, save 5%. Pretty simple install. Got to say, uh, the hardest part were those three screws right across the front, right in front of that flashlight. It does fit with the TRD skid plate. You can see I did not take it off to do this mod. And with the crossbars, it couldn't be any simpler. Anyway, just wanted to get on, show you guys the install. Uh, these days, you got to do what you got to do to protect your stuff. This is an awesome option. And as I mentioned, even one that you'll get if you were to buy it from Toyota through their accessories. I don't know why you'd do that. It's so simple to install. You should do it yourself. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Do you have one of these? And if not, why not? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.